All right, guys, today we have legs, and I'm trying something a little different. I'm doing a voiceover after the fact. I think, you know, every so often, this might be a good idea because I could kind of stay in the zone while I'm in the gym and uh, kind of go into detail a little bit more about what I'm doing afterwards. So here we are getting uh, our first working set in on the leg extension. Um, I already warmed up, I'd say, three sets before. So this is the first working set um, at about 220 pounds. So getting used to this new leg extension we got here. Um, it's finally starting to uh, work. So didn't like it at first, um, but now I'm kind of getting used to it. Uh, as you can see, legs starting to get pumped already. Shooting for about 12 a set. And I uh, think I go straight in to the seated leg curls. So super setting both of these together. Um, that's just how I've been feeling the best. Basically, quad and hamstring pump is from the very beginning. Start with both curls and extensions and uh, go from there, essentially. So this would be my first working set over here. I think we have it around 180. Uh, not too sure. This leg curl machine, I don't have to go super heavy to feel it working. Now that the uh, hamstrings have been coming up, um, I can get a lot from a little bit of weight. So... Although sometimes I like to max it out. Other times I just like to uh, kind of cruise with it. Just kind of checking the pump here. All right, I think we are getting ready to move to leg press now. So let's see what's in the next clip. Yes, so leg press. Um, luckily the gym got a shitload more plates so I don't have to go around looking for so many plates around the gym uh, most of them are there and um, yeah if I have to they're not far so here we go just doing a basic stance on the leg press trying to bring it in deep you know knees to chest uh, crank out like 12 to 15 reps here and uh, yeah by now my legs are starting to fill up. So, although we aren't filming every single set, um, you know, the pump's coming through. So, over here we got a, you know, all you see is the background. Um, this is where we work out, in a swamp. So, let's get better lighting. Oh, yep, there's me fishing for some plates, so. As I said, I don't have to go too far anymore. Uh, back when I was doing legs, um, when they were just starting out this gym, you would have to find plates for the leg press. And sometimes I would be using every single plate in the gym. And uh, yeah, it would suck. Okay, into the quad stance. So I got heels together, toes out. Trying to uh, work the sweep of the quad and finish with that teardrop. So I guess this one would put my knees technically over my toes um, to that quad a little bit more. So sticking to 12 reps and I uh, think uh, trying to check the pump here, but again, I'm in that shadow, so you can't really see, but um just trying to hold flexion in the quads. I mean, these leg days where I'm not, you know, doing, you know, heavy squats and kind of centering the workout around the pump. So been getting good development on the machines and, and the leg press solo. So today's one of those days where I don't have to uh, feel obligated for heavy press. So now I'm over here on the hip thrust machine. Um, you could tell I love it. <laughs> nah, I didn't want to do it, but gonna try to get a few sets in here. 
and I'm not really trying to develop my glutes any further. I think the glute, the glutes are definitely developed. I think the hamstrings need to be brought up a little bit more. So working on the tie in here, squeezing the glutes at the top. Um, not the best at this exercise, um, but uh, just gave it a try since the machine was close. So every now and then we'll hip thrust. You can tell here, very excited to be here. Not really. <laughs> so here's a clip of Emily doing the hip thrust, a more proper way of doing it, more controlled. She didn't want to be on film, but uh, she is. So I think you guys could take some tips from her as well. So heading over to the leg curl now. This has easily become one of my favorite machines. Um, not only because it's new, just the uh, the angle in which it hits the hamstrings is um, it's pretty good. So working with light weight here around half the stack. Now that I'm looking at this angle, these sweats are very tight. They are almost out the door. <laughs> these are supposed to be like baggy joggers, but they fit really tight. So got to get some new new sweats got to size up so leg curl for set I think I get into a little single leg action next so yeah working single leg 10 each side and these you really just want to pretend that you're using your bicep you're, you got to just pretend your hamstring is your bicep and you're curling it up easy slow controlled this is like super lightweight so just working off of reps here so i think i'm gonna finish 10 and then the good thing about this machine is it's like a little click loader it's not a pin loaded you just click the weight and uh throw some more weight on and finish off the uh the set here Okay, I think we're moving over to a little bit of calves. Always good to get that calf isolation work in. So at first I didn't like this seated leg press. Um, it's more like a hip press, but they have this little platform at the bottom where it's, I guess it's designed for calves. And I didn't really understand it at first because it just kind of dips down. Um, but if you get in the right position, you, you know, you can leverage your toes on there so that you can hit the caps pretty well so it's been working so just got to utilize what we have so this is one of them i also been liking to do the calves uh, you know after chest or shoulders just when they're fresh but since i had some left in the tank i just uh got some in today all right, moving on to some Romanian deadlifts. So 135, just warming up here. Uh, sort of fast, but I like to keep it moving for these warm-up sets. Um, although we're getting some work in, you know, I think I signal here, run it up. Try to get two plates on there, and uh, I think that's as high as we go today. Didn't want to push it too heavy at this point since we just came from leg curls, um, hamstring curls, putting the belt on just to make sure I don't hit low back here. Just want to put everything on the hamstrings. And uh, yeah, so this is technically the main working set here. So 225, just keeping it smooth. Taking it down past the shins and making sure I squeeze the glutes at the top slightly um, so they get some secondary work in. But uh, yeah, hamstrings. Hamstrings looking thick. So I think we run a second set here. Oh no, we got Emily. So 
I keep trying her to get, I keep trying to tell her to get 135, but uh, she won't do it. She won't do the 45 pounds. She'll do 40. So we got 40s on each side. Stiff-legged deadlifts. Good job, Emily. Okay. Now back to work. Two plates again. Second set. And uh, just trying to keep the rhythm and the pace the same. Not trying to do too much. Just feel a stretch in the hamstrings. Once you, once you feel a stretch, come up and kind of engage the tie-in. So... Not a full lockout here, because I'm trying to keep the hamstrings engaged and take most of the work. But uh, yeah, good overall Romanian deadlift. And back on some calves to finish it off. So I think this is our last working set. We have a couple like 10 pound plates underneath the uh, 45 there, but it's pretty light. Just trying to uh, Stimulate the calves a little bit at the end. Like I said, I've been doing calves on like chest days or arm days whenever I have time and the calves feel fresh. I've just felt that that's been the best for me to work the calves, but they've been coming up pretty good along with everything else. So just getting a little extra work in on the calves. <clears throat> I think we got... Uh, Someone checking out the camera. So, I think I was explaining how the uh, voice is uh, louder on their end because it's a vlogging camera. And uh, if any, any of you guys have questions about what I film on, you know, let me know. So, just wrapped up the workout, heading out now. I don't really show off too much of, uh, you know, the facility beyond the gym because we're just mainly in the gym but you know they got pools and stuff so good leg day overall first voice over here so you guys let me know how you like it um do you get more insight out of it i can kind of explain a little bit into better detail without having to you know stop in between sets so often and kind of explain so I'll probably get, you know, these workouts in a little more often with the voiceover. So if you enjoyed the leg day today, please drop a like and consider subscribing if you're along with the bulk journey. So don't forget to get your cardio in. Don't forget to get your calories in. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.